Okay, if you've run into an error message like this that refers to something like exceeding your quota limit, your CPU maximum, then that's an easy fix. Let's head on over to our Azure dashboard and what we're gonna do is open up a support ticket. Now, don't worry, it doesn't cost you any money and it typically doesn't take uh, very much time at all. It's typically auto approved. So let's go to help and support and say new support request here, new support request here, same thing. Now, what we're going going to want to pick is service and subscription limits under the issue type. Then pick your subscription and the quota type is compute VM cores uh, vCPUs. Click that and then what we're going to do is click the next solutions button. Okay now we're on the details page. Click the provide details link here and over here you can just leave the deployment model as uh, resource manager or arm azure resource manager pick the region that you need to increase your cpu quota in so west us should work for us here you can pick multiple regions now this is key pick the family of vms that you're trying to alter we're gonna i'm gonna pick just the f series it says our current quota is 100 doesn't mean we're using 100 we're paying for 100 that's just our soft limit so i'm going to say 110 please click the save and continue you'll want to uh, the severity it doesn't I don't think this matters I typically pick B um, because these are typically auto approved but go ahead and pick B I'm gonna say contact me later and then I've got my contact details down here click the next for review and create it gives you a nice summary of what you're asking for simply click the create button so that's how to get around that quota error hope that helped